CNA, CGN. Digite 1 para taxa de dia. Digite 2 para customer care. Hello, this is Oliver. I'm calling for Alan Valerio. Um, it's uh, regarding a shipment. I'm afraid, I'm, I'm afraid he can't answer his telephone right now. Ready to rock and roll to Rio. Currently 5.30 a.m. But we made it. We're here in Rio. Good morning world! Welcome back to the channel! We are back online! <laughs> Welcome to season 3! We are here in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil where we have been waiting for the past four weeks for our beloved bumblebee to arrive here by container ship from Dakar in Senegal and it really feels like a lifetime ago since we dropped her off. Unfortunately, there were a lot of communication issues with our shipping company from the Senegal side. So actually they told us uh, the bike would have arrived already four weeks ago. This is the reason that we went to Brazil so early. But luckily there are a lot of things to see and do here in Rio. So here's a few things that we've been up to. Welcome to Brazil! There's like a huge capybara in the middle of the city, <laughs> yes. just over here. What an amazing creature. He is huge. It's the largest species of rodent in the world. But after a long wait, the day has finally come that we can finally say, Bumblebee, Bumblebee has, has arrived! arrived. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> but if only it were that simple. Yes, Bumblebee may just be over there somewhere at the port of Rio, but now the hard work begins to try and break through the bureaucracy and the incredibly complex world of shipping and what everyone warned us about, Brazilian customs. So today we are here at the port in Rio de Janeiro to find out what the next step for us is to free Bumblebee. And our first stop in that journey is the customs office. So let's go. There it is. Recita Federal of the port of Rio de Janeiro. Okay, so an hour and a half later and we have left the customs office and um, there was a whole lot of Portuguese spoken. It was very, very confusing. Basically, from what we could understand, uh, there's still a whole lot of things that we need to do. He said that, you know, when you cross a border overland, the process is just, you know, fill in a form, give the form and you go through. But he said, because it's coming in as cargo, there's things we have to resolve with their department. And then afterwards, he said, we have to go to the tax authorities to get a tax exemption so that they don't charge us a load of money for bringing the bike into the country. And then he told us, oh, are you, are you gonna just go and pick up the bike from the container? And we said, well, yeah, I mean, this is the way that we dropped it off. And he said, no, no, you have to actually pick up the container and take it out of the port. And we were like, oh my God, 
I have no idea how to do that. You know, he made a lot of calls over at the terminal. Basically, they said, okay, enough for today. Come back tomorrow and we'll make a few more calls. I think that's one of the ferries leaving from the port here. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh my God. Basically, he made a few calls and he may be able to help us out with that. We're just going to go back tomorrow and uh, kind of see what the next step uh, is that we have to take. So there's nothing more to say for today. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good afternoon on day two of our attempt to free Bumblebee from <laughs> customs from the port of Rio and uh, it's raining today it's not a very nice day oh by the way this is where we're staying just behind us on these super mega tall buildings around us we're right in the middle of Centro in the city we're staying in a uh, hotel room on the 12th floor but the lift only goes up to the 11th and then we have to like walk up the stairs to get to the last floor. So we're really at the top, the penthouse. So now we are on our, <laughs> now we are on our way back to the custom office for round number two. <laughs> Not a nice day today in Rio. It's looking pretty gray. I hope that's not a sign of what's to come. It's just a gift for the trees that they can drink something, that they feel <laughs> nice. Uh-huh. <laughs> Five minutes later. That was not a very successful visit. They basically told us that an important piece of information was not inputted into the system by our shipping company. Customs basically told us that they have no problem. They're, they're absolutely ready to go. They're ready to give us the uh, form, the temporary import permit and send us on our way, or at least to the next stage of this process. But uh, basically they said they can't physically do that until all the information is correct. So now it's back to the hotel, <laughs> send another email, make another call to our shipping company and uh, see if they can get this information sorted for us. some lunch now we want to show you our favorite street food tapioca <laughs> mm, exciting everyone loves tapioca Wait. oh one more no, no, no. <laughs> uh, dos uh, tapioca uh, queijo tomate uh, cebola <laughs> wow <laughs> look at that nice Wow, these are real professionals here. Obrigado. Eh, Ichi. Obrigado. Obrigado, bye bye. So, this is tapioca and it's basically um, cassava flour, which they then make into a, a pancake and fill it with all kinds of crazy stuff. In our case, cheese, tomatoes, and onion. Look at this, look at this. Whoa, look at that. And this cost uh, nine reales, which is about one pound fifty. So it's not a bad price for an amazing piece of Brazilian street food. Nom, 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 nom. Bon appetit! All the way to 11. Our room is somewhere here. Somewhere up there. Uh oh. To get to our room, we have to come out of the room. We have to go up these stairs. Where can I add? There's actually a leak coming from the roof. So we have a huge pool of water here to avoid. So we come out the lift, up the wet stairs coming in water. Looks so creepy. <laughs> And welcome to the 12th floor, really. <laughs> the secret floor. The haunted the, floor. The haunted. These lights just keep flickering on and off all the time and every time you come into the corridor it's just darkness. So. I just want to show you our view, guys. <laughs> dun, da, da, dun, dun, dun. Mm. 
So you can see here actually pretty much to the center of Rio de Janeiro. You have the port place over there, the best tapioca in town down there. Yeah, but I think you can imagine like how noisy and how busy it is like from from the morning hours until late night. It's like it's very noisy. And here's our nice room. I think for people who know us, they know that we try to stay positive as much as we can. <laughs> but this shipping thing, what is going on here since way too long, is just um, messing up my mind a lot. We try to sort out and do as much as we can in advance, but no one talked to us or no one said anything or I don't know, it's just so hard it's so hard so if you ever think about shipping your motorbike from senegal dakar to rio de janeiro brazil don't do it what is your opinion about this whole thing this is a crazy process and uh, at this stage i really can't say whether or not it's even gonna work if it's even gonna go ahead um maybe in another 1000 emails Maybe at one point we will make a video about our email thread <laughs> with the shipping guys. <laughs> so it's 4 p.m. now and we've just had an email, a really good email that says the process to adjust the data at customs has been concluded and there are no more blocks at customs. Apparently tomorrow we have to go to an office of a company called Lachman. We need to present them some documentation and confirm it. And they need to confirm that we've paid everything for the shipping. And then they said once that's completed, there will be no more pending issues with CMA CGM, the company. So they're ready to give us the container. And then it's up to us to go back to customs tomorrow after that and uh, see if they can finish their process as well and uh, that should put us one step closer to actually getting this motorbike. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, it's like dreams becoming true! <laughs> it's time to celebrate <laughs> with the churros! <laughs> Obrigado! Obrigado! Yes. Another amazing street food here in Rio. Churros! Cheers! <laughs>Another office to go to. I feel so adult right now. <laughs> Let's see what we can do today to free Bumblebee. I think we need um Today is the day. I can feel it. <laughs> Ciao. 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 So step one done and they were really friendly really nice they just told us uh, everything is all right with your documentation so uh, that's really cool and now we're heading back to uh, our favorite office the custom office <laughs> we love the custom office so much we love the custom office so much <laughs> success this is the most important document that we need in this process this is basically the temporary admission to say yes this bike is allowed in this country for up to 90 days so now it's about going to the tax authorities to get our exemption so we don't have to pay a lot of money when we go to collect the bike so we are gonna head over to the tax office now and present them with this form and uh, we'll see how we get on these are actually the only shoes we're having with us on this trip. <laughs> our motorbike boots are in the container, so we're just running around with our sandals. 
So they wouldn't let us in because I'm not wearing trousers. So now we have to go back to the hotel and get some trousers. Fancy trousers on, try number two. The paper of the dreams. So now we have the approval to be in the country. We have the exemption from tax to bring the motorcycle into the country. We are really, really getting there now. Guys, guess what we're having for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Bread and cheese! Uh, yummy! <laughs> been a pretty good day so far <laughs> yes very successful day so far we got our two forms we really needed one form which allows bumblebee to be in the country and the other form that we don't have to pay any tax on it so <laughs> that's pretty cool so now we're heading back to the customs office because these guys they are just amazing there they help us out with everything and they will help us as well to get an appointment to um, to open the container pretty much so <laughs> hopefully it's going to be that simple yes <laughs> so we will see let's check it out okay so we're back at the customs office and apparently he's just said oh come with me and now he's off to go and get the keys to one of these trucks i don't exa i don't exactly know where we're going but uh we're going off somewhere with him <laughs> containers is the bike. Yeah, and not at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god guys, I think today is my birthday or something. <laughs> I have no idea. We are so blessed. We just went into the customs office and there we met Ricardo again and Ricardo was like putting on his jacket saying come on guys you're going, you're going with me now and then we uh, jumped in his car and he drove us pretty much to the port and there we could talk to the um, like um, container manager and he said no worries guys, um, I deal with this um, problem now for you and we can get your container ready by like Friday or Saturday. So we have just to wait now for his WhatsApp to come through and yeah, it's like it's so crazy. They're gonna send us a message and tell us basically when and where to go to, to go and pick up the motorbike from the container exactly. and that'll be it. Yes, <laughs> yes, day number three, baby. <laughs> Oh my God, read that again. So this is a message from uh, the container manager that we just got. Hi Oliver, we tried to release your cargo. Unfortunately, however, the release from CMA CGM has not yet occurred in the system. Shipping company, man. 